variable. They usually use y to represent the dependent variable and the independent variable. We use x to represent that particular one. So they measure the relationship between these two guys. So anytime we see two, two variables, we just call them simple regression. So the equation of the regression line of y on x, they're very simple. The equation are like this, y equal to a plus b x. You understand? Very simple. Now this x now, we don't always put it by x. We won't do a fancy way, put this one by y. Now if we use this in solve problem, <laughs> so the problem now, this is again, you say, you need to remember the formula for b. Because you know, if you get this two now constant now, you're going to need to know the constant first before you solve these things. Because then if you give you this one, so make you find, find this one, something like that. If you give you this one, make you find this guy. The guy knows this guy be. So the first thing I teach my students, sorry, <clears throat> the first thing I teach my students is find b first. Try to say b, the formula of b equal to n sigma xy minus sigma x sigma y divided by, you won't get another one n sigma x squared this one they confuse student because this particular when they get sigma x squared they will know say the second one they will need to get sigma x all with the inside bracket then you call square this thing will get different table i don't go like you you, you get it because since you don't see that you don't see say x day on your own you don't see say x y day the y square i'm not getting for this place anyways i will show you that one i will do question it will not be this one i will solve question on this thing if you want to to tell me for comment section. So if I feel get my B like this, get the value of my B, life don't be easier for me. Already me don't know, say, this Y, they talk about mean of Y. But Y, they talk about mean of Y. And mean of Y get the formula sigma Y over N. I don't get that one. Mean of X, which by X2, you get the formula sigma X. Save this video if you did. Watch me for TikTok. Save up. Now, face when you watch and save this video and share and make sure you follow the link because this single day very is what this formula and I explain the crime around you. <laughs> it's very, very simple. Now, this sigma means summation. This is an xy multiply together. You go see for table. The table they get like how many column? The table they get something like this. I'm gonna finish the formula first, no vex. So now as you get all these things, then finish. You don't finish work now. Just make a the subject of formula. And if you make a the subject of formula, you say this guy will come do with y for this side. So a only will be equal to y bar minus b x bar remember so you don't already get b by the calculation we don't do first so from here now since you know it's in bar y b say now mean of y if you get sigma y over n minus this one b into by x sigma x over 